Hello, welcome to lesson 20 method IDing in C sharp brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is method IDing and how do you invoke the hidden base class members. To understand it very clearly, we will jump into Visual Studio and explore it. Here, in the previous session, we actually created the employee base class and also we have created the two child classes. They are part-time employee and full-time employee which inherits from the base class employee. Before understanding this session, I would like to suggest you to watch my previous session which is on inheritance. Right now, what I will do is, I will create the two child classes, they are part-time employee and full-time employee. First, I will create the part-time employee. Public void part-time employee This is a part-time employee is a class and similarly I'll create other class just copy this and I'll paste and this is full-time employee keep in mind both these classes will inherit the base class that is employee now how to do inheritance it's very simple just place the colon and call that base class which you're going to inherit similarly for this also employee. Now what I've done is I've created the two child classes they are part-time employee and the full-time employee and I've inherited the base class employee to them. Now what I'll do is I'll create we'll just explore the base class first. In the base class we are having two fields that first name and last name and also I'm having a method print full name which will print the first name and last name when assigned. What I will do is, I will create an object of the part-time employee and full-time employee. We will just see the output, how it executes. Right now, I will come to the main method. Now, I will create a object of part-time employee. Part-time employee. I will take object name as PTE or caps PTE is equal to new part-time employee keep in mind child class is a specialization of the base class or the parent class so child class can access all the properties and methods of the base class and also it can also it can call the method in in its own class also also it can call the method or the properties in its in its class also that is the specialty of child class now what I'll do is I'll create an object of I'll create an object of child class then you can see here child class can access all the properties of the base class that is first name last name and print full name when first I have to take the first name then I have to assign a value to it I'll do it as ang pro technologies ang pro for the last name I'll give it as technology pte dot last name is equal to technologies now I also I'm having a method which will print this first name and last name I'll call that method also print full name what this print full name as design as how this print full name have to work that is designed in the base class itself it has to print the first name and last name now once I've done with this I have to create an object of full time also how do I do that it's very simple I'll just change his name here it's full time Similarly, here also I have to change it to full time. And I'll change spelling mistake. Then I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Everywhere where the PT is there, it's replaced with that. Similarly, this also calls all the properties and the methods in the base class and I'll change this to technologies but I'll change it to training just to see the difference now 
when I, what I've done is I'm, I'm having two classes child classes part-time employee and full-time employee and to this child classes I have inherited a base class that is parent class employee to them and since child class is a specialization of base class it can access all the properties and the methods present in the base class now what I'm doing I'm creating an object of both the child classes and I'm accessing the properties and the methods in the base class and I'm printing them when when I run this program you can observe The build has started, it's printing. Once I'm done with this, I can see the message called Ang Pro Technologies and Ang Pro Training on the command prompt window. This is how the inheritance works. You can observe here, my file is being scanned. Let's wait for that. Once it is done, you can observe it has printed Ang Pro Technologies and Ang Pro Training. This is how the inheritance works. But my objective is and my goal now is I want to print on the since the part-time employee is on the contract basis, I want to print whenever I run this program, it has to print like the first name and the last name of the part-time employee ended with the contractor. It is something like I want output in this format. This is the full-time employee and this is the part-time employee. Since he is idled on the contract basis, it has to print iPhone contract at the at the last of the Ang Pro training. So how to do this? It's very simple. What I'll do is I'll just copy this method and I'll paste this method in the part-time employee and what I'll do is contractor now when I run this program you can observe the part-time employee since is on idle on the contract basis at the end of the sentence of the first name and full name I'm getting iPhone contractor that is the output what we wanted but when we run the program it it is giving me a warning telling that part-time employee dot print full name hides inherited member of the employee print full name use the new keyword if hiding was in the, in intended it means that what happened when I run this program the method in the in the child class uh, method in the child class print full name as I did the method in the base class this print, print full name did not execute currently when I run this program because the method in the child class I did the method in the base class now what it is telling here if you want to intentionally hide the method in the base class then it is telling me you can observe here you can observe here use the new keyword if hiding was intended intended what it what it, what it means if explicitly if you want to hide the member in the base class then use the new keyword in the method which you are calling in the in the child class so i have to add new keyword and this warning disappears now when i run this program can observe the part-time employee with iPhone contractor and the full-time employee and pro training that is that is the speciality of new keyword we'll jump back into presentation we'll see here method hiding and invoking hidden base class members now we just saw the usage of new keyword now use new keyword to hide a base class member and that what that's what we did in the Visual Studio now and if new keyword is missed compiler warning will be given that's what we resolved here when we just remove this new keyword it just gives us a compiler warning telling that if you are intentionally do hiding that method then just use the new keyword I'll do that work for you that's what that's what the new keyword tells us now we'll jump back in, now we'll do control Z and new keyword is essential and we'll jump back into presentation now now what we are done we have added the method in the base class member in the base class in, in the child class sorry in the base class but now I want to invoke that hidden base hidden base class member from the derived class how do I do that it's very simple I'm having so many options here I'll use I'll, I'll just show only the three ways to do it using the base keyword first we'll explore it now the objective is I want this method to be called in the derived class method how do I do that it's very simple I'll just comment out this sentence if if you want to call this method this base class method which is hidden in the 
which is hidden when, when I use the new keyword when I want to call this year in the derived class how do I do that it's very simple use base keyword and when I press the dot operator you can see I can access the print full name method now what I'll do when I do this and I over on this it tells us em void employee dot print full name it means that it is calling the method which is from the base class now when I run this program it prints me a message telling that the first name and the last name of the part-time employee that is Ankpro Technologies and Ankpro Training now I do I do that when I run this program you can observe the Ankpro Technologies and Ankpro Training what actually we did is I'm using the new keyword which hides the member in the which hides the method print full name in the base class but how do I invoke this hidden base class member in the derived class it's very simple I just showed the one way that is call the base use the base keyword then use the dot operator you can access the method which is hidden in the base class that is print full name that's what we that's what we saw the output now we'll jump back into presentation here the other way is cast child type to parent type and invoke the hidden member that is we have to do type casting how do I do that it's very simple now I'll just remove this and I'll uncomment this also now what I have to do is I'll use the PT object that is part-time employee object and now I'll use typecast operator and convert that to be of type employee it means that I'm having this I'm having I'll just remove this I'm having a part-time employee object I'll use that I'm having the part-time employee object now I'll use the typecast operator and convert that to be of type employee it means that I'll use the typecast operator I'll convert it to employee object employee object then before that I have to put your brackets sorry I have to do like this and I have to do here now when I do this I can access sorry I have to remove this I have no need of using here now what I have to do here is currently I am having the now how do I call now how do I convert this part-time employee object into an employee object using typecasting it's very simple now what I'll do is I'll call that employee then um, I'll just entangle with the braces this with this class then I'll use that PT object and I have to put it within the brackets now what I will do is using the dot operator I can call the print full name now what happens is when I do this what I've done I'll use the uh, what I'm what I've done is I use this part-time employee object and now I will use the typecast operator and I'll convert that to be of type employee and what I'm trying to do is I'm converting this part-time employee object into a typecasting into an employee object and since it is employee object now now I can access the method which is present in the employee class that's that is how I, I'm invoking the hidden class member print full name using the typecasting operator so when I run this program what I'll do is uh, what it prints is it prints the message which is present in this print full name it means that it prints Ankpro technologies and Ankpro training now when I run this you can see the print output as expected that is Ankpro technologies and Ankpro training this is how using typecasting will call the in, will invoke the hidden base class member using the typecasting this is the other second way we'll jump back into presentation and third way is parent class is PC that is object is equal to new child class what is this we'll see here now what I did previously was I used the base keyword then I used the typecasting operator and the th third way is instead of using a child class reference variable I can use parent class reference variable what it means it means that I'll just erase this first pte dot print full name now what I can do is 
instead of giving me giving your a part-time employee what I can do is I can use employee it means that instead of using a child class reference variable instead of using the child class reference variable and I can use the parent class reference variable and keep in mind the child class object part-time employee object can fulfill all the responsibilities of the parent class and this fact allows us to assign the object of child type to a reference variable of the parent class it means that a child class is a specialization of parent class and while creating the variable of a parent class uh, using the child object I can access all the properties in the base class this is the third way how do you invoke the base hidden base class member using this parent class variable how do, this is how we do it and when I run this program what happens is it will just call Ankpro Technologies and Ankpro Training the thing is part-time employee and full-time employee here are the two child classes and we just learnt it you can see here the three different ways are using base keyword cast child type casting and converting the parent class reference variable this what we this is what in three ways we invoke the hidden base class member from the derived class thank you have a nice day please subscribe to Ankpro training below